Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using C programming language. First, we will understand our question. We should implement the function square the ends so that it returns the number with the ends squared. So consider our number 888. Eight, eight. So here, the first end and the last end is 8, so we should square them. So it becomes 64, 8, 64. So this will be our output. Now consider another number where we have 5000. So here the first end and the last end will have 5 and 0. The square of 5 is 25, then two zeros. Then square of 0 is 0. So 25000 will be our output. So since we are using C programming language, first we will convert this number into string. So 888 will be converted into string. Then after converting it to string, we will iterate them. We will iterate and if the index is equal to equal to 0 or the index is equal to equal to length minus 1 then we are going to square them so square the digit and add to result else add the digit to the result so without any modification so at last we are going to return the result. So this is our logic. Let us implement our program. First we will implement the function square the ends. This main function is already given. So there should be no modifications done here. Then in the function square the ends, the integer n should be converted to string so character str of 101 so we'll use the sprinter function to convert this to string so it will store the number in string then the format specifier and n so after that we will initialize the variable int result so at last we are going to return this result then we'll run the for loop for int index equal to 0 index lesser than string so here we will also initialize another variable called len that is the string length so index less than len and index plus plus and inside we have int so now we will convert the each character in the index to the integer format so int digit equal to str of index minus 0 so now we have converted the characters in the string to integers so now we will check our conditions if index equal to equal to 0 or index equal to equal to len minus 1 and now digit equal to digit multiplied by digit that is our square root then the result is equal to the result of Sorry, result multiplied by power of 10 comma number of digits of digit. We will use power here to multiply the 10 star number of digits so that we concatenate any digits of number with result. Now in the else part we have result equal to result multiplied by 10 plus digit and 
at last we returned the result so now we will define the function number of digits so in number of digits so here we'll pass n then int count equal to 0 then if n equal to equal to 0 then we are going to return 1 so while n is greater than 0 count plus plus and n slash equal to 10 then we will return count let us execute our program we will pass 5000 as our input we have got 25000 which is correct hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you in next video